everyone, it's me Nora and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we'll be resetting my Toka world and starting off from scratch. So I did a community post a few hours ago, basically yesterday, and I was asking if I should reset my world to restart with my old like original series like in college where I met JJ and stuff. So we're gonna start from there because I feel like my roleplays are getting boring and I just wanna like redo it and start over. And I feel like it'll be fun. So that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna like basically just redo everything with the whole family. And yeah, so right now I'm deleting all my characters. As you guys can see here, um, that was one of my rich family characters. Um, don't ask why they have pacifiers in, okay? Just don't worry about it. They definitely don't need it. It was just for a thumbnail I was doing. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm also getting rid of the maid. I'm getting rid of Mr. Williams. Um, he was the chef of the rich family, and that is one of my friend's characters, Tamster. Anyways, I just needed her for a quick video. Um, if you haven't watched that video, go watch it. It was very fun to make. Anyways, so here's a tutorial on how to make Nora, I guess, if you wanted to copy my character. So I start with that skin tone, and I go, I don't usually use the hair that I just picked. I don't know why I did, but it does not look good on my character. But usually I go pretty light. I don't know, it definitely just depends. Sometimes I'll go light, sometimes I'll go really dark, whatever. I always do the cute little one eyelash because it's so cute and I like the curved one more than like the thick one. Um, for the nose, I take that really light color and I put it to kind of match the skin tone of it. Same for the eyebrows, I just make the eyebrows match the hair. Um, freckles, I do a little bit darker than the skin tone. Some people do it lighter, but I do mine darker. For the blush, I do the little circle blush. I was just looking around to see which one I like more, but the circle one is definitely my favorite. And I make it really pink. And it's kind of hard to see, but it's definitely there. Okay, now I'm doing JJ's character. So JJ is gonna be the boyfriend in the series. And he's gonna be like our crush, basically. Um, now I'm not sure I feel about the curly hair. I did change it afterwards, but if you guys like the curly hair more, let me know. I don't really know. I changed it back to the one that he usually has though. But this is him as a teenager, so like obviously his hair is going to be different, but I'm not really sure yet what I want to do with his hair. Um, I did give him like, I didn't give him a smile, I just gave him like that like relaxed face. I gave him some freckles of course, and I gave him blush. Yes, I gave my boy's characters blush because, you know, I don't know, I think it would make them look cuter and less boring, so <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, so that was JJ's character, and now we're gonna move on to building my brand new house. So, for this series, Nora's gonna be living in college, and this is gonna be her dorm. And I don't wanna use the college dorm that I usually get with the Toka Pack, because I don't really like it that much. It's very tiny, and it's not my favorite. So I decided to give her her own custom one. Now, I do have to do, um, his side, JJ's side, which is the other apartment building right next to this one. He's gonna have his own dorm and he's gonna have a roommate. Nora's not gonna have a roommate. I know, pretty sad, but that's because there's just simply not enough space for another person to live here. It is small, okay? Like, I don't think that many people can fit in this little house, okay? But anyways, it's fine. So this is what we have going on here. This is not in fast motion. I did it in regular time because I wanted y'all to be able to copy it if you wanted to. Now at the end, it changes a lot, so Really, there is no point of copying it, and it's not going to look at the end result, but if you want this look right now, then you can copy it. I don't really mind, but the end, it definitely looks a lot different. Drastic changes. Now, this is a little hack I love to do for, like, all my houses. So, that little fridge with all the juices, I grab a little box, and I open up the fridge, and I take all the drinks out. It makes, like, a little skincare fridge or a mini fridge, anything you want. You don't have to keep the juices in there. They definitely do come out, y'all. So that's how you get a mini fridge in Toko World, if you're wondering.
Okay, y'all, so over here is where I decided to grab some stuff from around the world to put in her little dorm. I got a lot of items, um, and they're all really useful and good for this little role play. I did end up changing her backpack because I'm not a big fan of the cherry one. I like the rainbow one a lot more. But this does end up changing too. None of it stays. Um, but if you want to copy it, of course, you're able to. A lot of the items I got from popular locations, like the Snowy Cabin, um, VVU, the Watermelon Wave Club, the high school, um, mainly those, um, the train station, those are my like top packs to get items from. Oh, and those little OK Street apartments, those are really good too. But that's mainly where I get all my stuff from. And if not, then I usually just get it from um, the build mode here. But yeah. Okay, so this is the overview of her little dorm slash apartment. She has a doggy. Let me know what you want me to name the dog, guys. It's a girl. Um, this is her kitchen. It's really nice. This is her bathroom, and it's also really nice. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Over here is her living room, her office, and this is the laundry area, and that's all. <laughs> 